and the disgraceful process by which this was done. They held the nomination of Merrick Garland open for eight months because it shouldn't be before a presidential election. But now, only 40 days before an election, when some people have already started voting, they say, never mind, Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump have stolen two judges from the American people, Merrick Garland, and now rushing this nomination through. What did I leave out, Angelo? Not much. It's kind of dark. Yep, we'll take two. Let's see here. Judge Ginsburg had a dying wish that the next president choose. Justice Ginsburg must be turning her over in her grave up at heaven to see that the person they chose seems to be intent on undoing all the things that Ginsburg did. I will strongly, strongly, strongly oppose this nomination. Ready for a question or two? I didn't hear the second part, the second part, the ducks in order part. Okay, first question. As the American people learn of Judge Barrett's views, they're going, she is going to become very unpopular with average Americans. And as that unpopularity rises, I hope they will put pressure on their Republican senators to adhere to Justice Ginsburg's dying wish and let the next president decide. Donald Trump has put this nominee, nominee in for a whole lot of reasons, and that, that's a, that is just another one that we should wait for the next president to choose. Yes, white shirt. I haven't seen the second, so I'm not going to comment. And on the first, what was it? Are, are you talking to your colleagues? Yes, my colleagues are united in opposition. Many of them have issued statements in opposition, and we are united, Democrats, House, Senate, and Joe Biden, in, show, in, in alerting the American people to the danger, danger to their health care, their very health care they depend on, with this nomination. Thank you, everybody.